What are you going to do for us here, Luca? It's the clutch moments of the game. Luca to the basket all the way though. All right, 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 all right. This video barely needs an introduction. We know what the hell happened back on the draft night in June of 2018. Trey Young and Luka Doncic, two of the most storied players in the NBA already, even though they're only three years into their career. Luka shatters a record like every other hour, and Trey Young is in the Eastern Conference Finals in his first ever appearance in the playoffs. And back on that draft night, they were traded for each other along with the addition of a 2019 first round pick, and that pick became Cam Reddish. Regardless of what the hell he turns into, it doesn't really matter. They got the first and second best player in the draft, regardless of, look, they, they both could have drafted Bus. Or it could have been like when the Memphis Grizzlies drafted Kevin Love with the fifth pick, and then they traded him for the third pick, who was OJ Mayo. And while we are about to trade them back to their original teams that they were quote unquote drafted to, the entire trade, shout out to Nicolo Melli, he's just here to fill a spot. And Cam Reddish also heading back to the Mavericks, and that is it. I will be watching the entire careers of these two players. Let's just see what the hell is going to happen. And shout out to everybody who's requested this video. Looking back, I can see it's one of the most requested videos for this channel ever. And uh, here's a couple people on the screen right now. Also, let's try and get four likes and subscribers gain because Derek Rose. And if you don't subscribe, that means you hate Derek Rose. And nobody hates Derek Rose. Uh, Luka Doncic makes the All NBA second team next to Shea Gilgis Alexander. He averaged 32, 7, and 10 a game. Trey Young did not make an All NBA team first year. And well, uh, the Hawks are the fourth seed and the Mavericks were the 11th seed. They weren't actually that far out of the playoffs, but they suck. And Trey still averaged 29 and 9 a game, so it's not like he underperformed. Yeah, this Hawks team's looking kind of elite. They're playing Miami first round. Obviously, this is just the heat we know from real life. And they're down 3 1. And they lost 4 1. Luka, 33, 6, and 10 to Ola Depot. So, oh, they signed LaMarcus Aldridge from retirement? You cheating bastard. The Pelicans win the first year championship. Shout out to Zion. Shout out to Lauren Hill. Earl retired. Well, uh, maybe the Mavericks can. Oh, wait, right, right, right. My Knicks took the Mavericks pick. Never mind. So they drafted nobody in the, the Hawks got Charles Bassey. This beautiful thing called free agency. Will one of them get like DeMar DeRozan or something? I don't know. Well, Cam Reddish went up by six overall. So at least that's something. But uh, no, the Mavericks are still the same, basically. And the Hawks are still the same as well. Oh, right, you see that on the top right? They're both in the playoffs right now. So that's a good thing. Luka Doncic is the 2022 most valuable player with 33, 7, and 11 a game. Cade Cunningham won rookie of the year and six man of the year. Shout out to the Thunder. You'll get him in this universe. Luka obviously made the first team, but Trey made the third team. He averaged. 31 and 9 a game this season so he wasn't too far off and yeah mavericks 47 wins hawks 53 wins so yes once again not too far off oh hey the hawks got nba playoff god reggie jackson although he needs his goggles now because that's the only he i don't know it's something about those goggles he was out here genuinely like a top five player for the whole playoff the hawks are up 3-2 and so the mavericks are up 3-2 as well and now it's 3-3 and they both advanced the second round first year well, no second year it's the trailblazers versus the mavericks and the knicks versus the hawks with kyle lowry and Dinner. Witty. In fact, the eight seeded Knicks beat the first seeded Celtics. Portland's up 2 1, but Atlanta's up 3 1. And uh, yeah, no, no, yeah. But the Mavericks are out of here. Trey Young's team loses. He tried with 32 and 8 a game, but Luka's team is still alive. And they will be playing the Philadelphia 76ers in the conference finals, which is actually just the same exact team, except they have Jonathan Isaac now. Well, actually, really, no, it actually looks pretty different. We should be the better team this series. And now that I say that, we're probably going to lose 4 0, aren't we? We're going to lose 4 0. Okay, no, 2 1. 2 2. 3 2. We just won three games straight, and we're in the finals. The Atlanta Hawks versus the Portland Trailblazers, who beat Trey Young's team. We had a chance to have the matchup, but not yet. But uh, Lucas' team is already here. So he brought them one step further. Trey Young, as I record this, he just went down 2 1. So yeah, I mean, he, he could make it to the final still. It's not like the series is over or anything. First game looks like the Hawks are going to win 112 108. Matter of fact, I'm not even AO. I'm just trying to see them play against each other. Like like 37 and 12 from Luca. There we go. They win another game. He's about to win a championship, it looks like. 3 0. Another win by 13 points. Luca, 42 and 17 and the Blazers won one and that is it the Atlanta Hawks it only took two years and Luka Doncic is the finals MVP 38 and 11 a game here's the overall playoff stats for the whole team obviously he's really and truly carrying though matter of fact he led them in every stat except for rebounding but he was even second in that Axel two pain retired well uh this year they should both have their picks and matter of fact the Hawks got Jaden Hardy they had OKC's pick is that from like the mellow Dennis Schroeder trade they're the seventh pick and won the championship who was the last team to win the championship and also get the first pick. Team Luka and Trey's a starter himself. And look at this. Two in the conference. The Dallas Mavericks are a better conference rank than the Hawks. Here we go. It's getting very interesting. We're obviously both going to make the playoffs, but that's a beautiful sight to see considering that. Wait, are they starting Kem Birch at power forward? Oh, wow. He's an 80. I mean, you would just think they would start the seven foot three guy who grabs two rebounds a game at power forward instead, but I would suspect the Chris stops anyways. I still like Chris stops. I know he was on my Knicks. You would think, oh, I hate him now because they traded him or something. Here's a story I think I meant to tell in a, another video recently. So when the Knicks traded Kristaps that night, I have I 
met Chris Stops and I had an autograph on my wall from him. And the day they traded him and supposedly like he forced his way out, I took it off the wall, right? But then the wall looked mad empty. So I put it back up on the wall and it fell off the wall and broke. And Trey Young is the most valuable player in year number three. He averaged 38 and 11 a game. Luka averaged 32 and 12. But yo, they won back. This literally couldn't go any better because they just won back to back MVPs. And these are the two players we're, so we're focused on right now. Trey Young and Luka Doncic, all NBA first team 53 and 29 for the Hawks 56 and 26 for the Mavericks you know what okay fine real quick skim of who they got in their team oh look at Josh Green with the 16 John Collins 17 first round they're both the second seed can they both make it out of the first Atlanta is down 3-0 after winning the ring oh it's Chris Paul oh yeah nah see look if you know you know Chris Paul is very different and they just got swept after winning pull the whole Lakers said the Lakers ain't even get swept has any has any championship team ever got swept the next year and wow Mavericks just, hell, they are bodying their way all the way to the conference finals. Look at them. Trey's trying to get his own ring, his own piece, his one piece. Shout out Luffy. 2-0, 2, -oh, two one, three, one. Trey Young is going to the finals against Toronto. And he's playing Ru Rudy Gobert. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen a team in general ever headlined by Rudy Gobert on the like 2K load up screen. This team has about two scores. How the hell are they in the finals? Fred Van Vliet and Malachi Flynn are putting a team on their back. You know, I feel like slightly stupid for doing this but it's it's game one it's a big game dallas is down by two 118 left gary trent are you the savior look at how the spacing on this team oh my god is that thaddeus young oh hey, yo i would I, you would think that's oh my god gary trent you would think that thaddeus young is actually pretty good at three-point shooting like his whole career but i have him on my my career series on my second channel and he is awful at shooting he has like no shooting attribute trey young gets a screen from chris stops he's going left all the way trey gets blocked by what? there goes thaddeus young just the ball just taps off his arm also i don't know how trey got the number six did you like purposefully do that to piss off Chris Stops to get Chris Stops fired up. Well, look at Cam Reddish getting late game minutes too. He's obviously, you know, I mean, a piece of this trade. And uh, Richardson out to Crowder. Crowder back out to Young. Young to the basket. Another drive. Oh, the pass down to Birch. What the hell? He had a layup. Cam Reddish trying to bail him out. No. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This game's probably over. Yep. Okay. Cool. They they lost by three. Wow. Trey had 44 and 11 though. They lose game one. We're gonna they're gonna take back. Eh, eh. They're gonna take back game two. Ooh, career night on the glass for Reddish. Look at Cameron Reddish. 12 boards. Trey had 35 and 6. Kristaps had 32 and 12. They lose another game to Fred Van Vliet. Trey is obviously always going to be incredible. Okay, now this one is really big time because they are down 2-1 in this series. Toronto has the ball. 26 seconds left. The game is tied and they could take a 3-1 lead right here right now. Malachi Flynn with the ball. Malachi is dribbling the hell out of the ball. He wants to get one of the last shots on this shot clock. They don't have any timeouts left. Four seconds left. Over to Gary Trent. A good look from three and he misses. Rebound by Miles Bridges and he misses misses again what the yo miles if you don't dunk it you see on them lobs lamella was throwing to you the hum diddly d's of the announcers were, were serenading at you if you don't jump man as a seven foot vertical and just laid it up and again jay crowder might have like punched him or something on the dunk and i didn't see this man trey made chris stop switch at number 51 he's got to be so sick i don't even know why he took number six the mavericks are going to win this game trey young is on his well he's not on his way yet actually we still need to win some more games trey had 25 and 13 chris stops actually at 30 he's been going kind of crazy two to two game five the biggest game you could imagine and the mavericks dogged them trey young a career high 18 assists at least according to this thing that is the truth and the raptors are going to force a game seven 46 and seven from trey malachi flynn is going nuts but the dallas mavericks i'm not gonna jump in i'm not gonna jump in. i'm gonna let it rock but trey young had 30 and 13 we already know good and well he's gonna win finals mvp and look at cam reddish the other key addition 26 points an 11 for 15 shooting in game seven of the finals the mavericks roll over the Raptors 116 to 99. Trey Young, he had like zero, nearly zero lapses. The MVP wins a championship back to back seasons. They just so happen to be the two guys that we're focused on in this video. So everybody eats 35 and 13 a game from Trey. I don't know if I've ever seen the Mavericks and the and the Hawks win the finals back to back years early in this in simulation. So uh, hey, maybe switching the players is the answer. Kareem Abdul Jabbar retired. Whoa, how the hell did the Maverick get the second pick in the draft? But why would you draft a point guard? Let me guess Amani you went first yeah Mavericks have a Houston pick I can't remember off the top of my head how that happened or if it happened in this or not I don't know they made no trades this season but they had Houston's pick and took Amari Bailey oh it actually is a shooting guard that's fine oh okay um Clint Capella made his way out of Atlanta but I also thought Onyeka Okongu is playing good so it shouldn't really matter yep Onyeka is an 85 so Luka should be just fine Josh Hart is in Dallas okay why the Mavericks why are they starting off the season three and ten I don't understand LaMelo Ball wins MVP will our guys allow him to win
win the championship? Hell, I don't know. The Hawks are actually the eighth seed. And uh, wait, didn't we have the Rockets pick? How did they have a pick too then? My, am, am, what? Luca All NBA first team. Trey did not make a team this year. The Hawks were the eighth seed. So how was Trey's team? Okay, there goes Luca being Luca. I guess the Capella. The, wow, the the Mavericks didn't make the playoffs. Oh yeah, this this is starting to get crazy. All right, um, well, uh, I, I guess we'll see how Luca can do as the eighth seed against the MVP. And he he lost four two. Oh wow, that was one hell of an anticlimactic year. Zion, the man who tried to kill Chris Paul, retired. Wow, Paul George just signed with the Mavericks. Now, here's the thing, I love you know Paul George, great guy, but uh, oh wait, they traded for him. When he gets old, he starts to get trash, and he's getting old. I'm kind of scared. What the hell did they trade for him? I can't even see because we're in the new season. Well, okay, here's a better question: What team has won the championship and then missed the playoffs the next year? Because that was wild. I'm over here thinking, hey yo, this game is taking mad long to simulate, and uh, it's it, I think it's just frozen. I think the game froze. I'm restarting my PS5. I don't even care. Yo, it's still doing it. The mellow ball. Luca All NBA second team. Trey All NBA third team. Sounds good to me. 48 and 34 for actually both of them. Trey th 27 and 11, and Luca 25 and 11. That works. Jaden Hardy is averaging 22, and Kristaps is averaging 21. And Paul George is still pretty good as of now. First rounds, can they both make it out? Ah, uh, the Mavericks are down 3-0. And wait, no, they're both down 3-0. You gotta be kidding me. Mavericks are out of here, and the Hawks are still alive. The Hawks are still nope. Never mind. They both lost in the first round. Again. Trey had two fantastic games and two awful games. Luca, well, I honestly just think you should stop passing to your teammates. I think that'd be a good thing. The Mellow Ball wins a championship. Well, it did, he didn't win last year, but he got it this year at least. Greatest center of all time retired. The teams are still pretty much just the same team, same cores at least. Although I should acknowledge, first of all, uh, well, yeah, let, let's see. Trey's at 93 overall. He's got a lot of Hall of Fame badges, but no defensive badges at all. But you know, he's got he's he's a one and everything else. And Luca, well, he's barely got any defensive badges either. But he's also very proficient in everything else. And he's a 98 and Trey's a 93. But hell, they're both in the, you know, they both got an MVP and they both got a championship. So I guess we're trying to see which one would be better as, as you know, for the sake of competition. And so far they're even. I've done about 6 million simulations on this channel. And for some reason, when I seen Team Stefan, for a second, I thought it was Stephen A. Smith. Nicola. Oh, he beat him in the conference finals one. Shout out to Trey. So uh, I'm not worried about him. But actually, no, I should be worried about him. I should be worried about our team, actually. Luca All-NBA first team. Sure. Great, great stuff. Good for you. He might have made the playoffs, but I know for a fact Trey didn't. They was 11th in the conference. Luca did though, 45 and 37. Um, Trey was good. They traded for Terry Rozier. Cam Reddish is an 89. Kristaps is a 90, 86. Like they got mad good players in this team, but nah, you just want to be trash. First round against the Mellow AO Hawks. What you got in you? There we go. We here. We in the second round. Uh, I'm kind of interested. Who, who's on this team? Ben Simmons, Kevin Durant, and Joel Embiid. We lost. We lost. We lost. There's no way. We yeah, we lost. We lost. They're winning the championship. They're what? Oh my. How is Cade Cunningham on the Lakers? How did this man get out of OKC? How did you? I have never seen Cade Cunningham be able to get out of his team. Cade, RJ Barrett, Montrez, Devin Booker? What the hell? So they basically got Kobe and Magic, huh? They got Kobe and Magic. Dorian retired. He didn't make the Hall of Fame, but league sources tell me that they're renaming the Hall of Fame after him. Uh, I think Dante G DiVincenzo just signed with the Hall. Oh, never mind. They traded for him. That just keeps on happening where they trade for guys I don't realize and they're still trash anyways. Mifayon Duka Bengley. In a couple of years, guys, I would love another finals appearance, especially because of the fact that it feels like I'm in year 15 with the way how flow, how slow this has been simulating. Nico. Dimitris Niniadas. Brooklyn Nets. Rook well, yeah, Kevin left, so hell, you guys screwed. Oh, James Harden. Six, wait, what? James Harden, sixth man of the year for the Nets. Jonathan Isaac, DPOI for the Nets. Oh, so you guys get every award. And watch, watch. They're probably the 12th seed in the conference, too. Ooh, Trey and Luca back on the All-NBA first team together. They both bodied the year. You see the numbers. Yep, the Nets. How do they win 39 games to make the playoffs? Ayo Hawks, second seed, and uh, West? Where what the hell? Mavericks didn't make the playoffs. You got to be kidding me. 20 game difference between the two teams. Okay, well, Hawks. Oh, you're playing that Brooklyn team. For, if they beat us, I swear. They won the first game. Kyrie's still there, though, being Kyrie. And they won another. Okay, tied up. And we're going to win that one. And we're on to the second round. Bowl, Bowl, and Udoka Azabuki. Oh, yeah, we lost. Oh, uh, we won. Colin Sexton and Frank Kaminsky. Oh, yeah, we lost. We won. Nikola Jokic and Larry Nance Jr. Okay, but for real, we're in the finals. Easy game one win. I got to check the playoff stats because I genuinely know, don't know who the hell is aside from James Hardy. What's his name? Jaden Hardy. His name was James Hardy. That'd be funny. Oh yeah, this man Jaden Hardy is built different though. Game two of the finals, trying to go up 2-0. Is Luka not even in the... Where the hell is Luka? Where is our lord and savior, Luka Magic, young Slovenian phenom? Wait, is he from Slovenia or which one is... Luka and him are from two countries that start with S. I don't know. John Collins is good at basketball though. The battle of Serbia and Slovenia. Okay, I was right. Murray over to Kennard. Kennard for three. Oh my. I love when the 2K announcers go crazy like the Charlotte Hornets announcers. I still don't know where Luka is, but matter of fact, Jaden Hardy
Hardy is also the savior. So a Hardy down to John Collins. Collins in the post against Larry Nance. The post hook is all the hell did Luca foul out because Devin Chenzo just subbed in. Oh, hell no. Oh, no. This man really fouled out, huh? And uh, Nicola has the meanest triple double. Okongwu into Devin Chenzo. Devin Chenzo back to Hunter. Hunter out to Okongwu. They still got the whole core together, basically. Hardy down to John Collins. Why are we forcing him down? Look at this wide open Hardy for three. You can Oh, you choke. You choke. You choke. He choked because they just double teamed a man in the mid range area when you. Oh, yeah. No, you choked. You choked. You choked. Simulate 10. Get out of here. There's no way Jamal Murray just missed two free throws, right? Yeah, no, it's over. Hardy, you had a great game, but you choked. He looked hardy. If you would have just hit that three, well, we would have went to overtime at least. But now we're about to go down. Right. Oh, God. Why did they just make it so close? They made it dumb close. But nah, yeah, we lost again. If we don't win this game, this is gearing up to be one of the most heartbreaking series ever. Luca, uh, well, yeah, he's in the game now, and it's game four. These jerseys are just clean as all living hell. Luca, the screen from Collins. Back to Jaden, though. He says, hey, yo, Jaden, redeem yourself. Redeem yourself. Go to the basket. Step back. Oh, God. He's got. Who does he got? Is this that Zubak? Down to Okongwu, the layup. Beautiful. Pa Look at this pass from DiVincenzo. Look at the threading of the needle. Dante Divin point guard says, oh, yeah, Dante Divin Nash. Another universe. Luca and Jalen Brunson were teammates, but now they're guarding each other in the finals. Michael Porter Jr., the god of contested shots. Will he be the one that ends us? Well, uh, DeAndre Hunter, hell, he's not even contesting nothing. He's stepping far back. And oh, he contests that, though, and he fouls him. And he fouled out. Good move by MPJ to get the two for one because we're not even going to have the last shot. And they're up by two. Luca, what are you going to do for us here, Luca? It's the clutch moments of the game. Luca to the basket, all the way the floor. Oh, that should have been an N1. It would have been so clean. Larry Nance. Our coach is Luke Walton. What is this? A death wish? Luca at the. F no! Why do we keep choking? 77%. I know he's a bad free throw shooter, but oh my God. It's been like four years. Wait, no, it's been like seven years. You haven't figured that out by now? Brunson. Oh, he missed one too. We have no timeouts left. DiVincenzo with the ball. Just hit Luca right now. There you go. We're going to do something stupid and take the last shot for sure. I already know it's coming. But it could still be a bucket. Down by two. Seven seconds left. Here we go, Luca. What are we going to do with it? He gets a screen from Okongwu. Going right. He pulls up. Moving three. Doncic is off. Rebound Okongwu. He puts it back up and misses. We're down 3-1. We had so many opportunities to capitalize. And the Nuggets usually the one coming back from 3-1. Luca shot 6 for 16 with five turnovers. It's funny. This is a very possible finals matchup. Like the Hawks, without Luca even, can definitely make the finals against the Nuggets in a few years. Nuggets feel like they should have been made the finals. And while there's still a good chance we come back from down 3-1 because we won one game. So now all we need is one more. And then we force a game seven. Look at Luca, 40 and 17, 11 for 16 shooting. Oh, we coming out firing. We coming out hitting everything in this game. We are going to force a game seven, 161 points. Look at the Luca stat lines. Game seven in Atlanta, home court advantage. Oh man, this one means a lot. This series was gearing up to be one of the most disappointing series because we were down 3-1, but we came back. The Nuggets blew a 3-1 lead. Jokic blew a 3-1 lead. Sorry, sorry. The Atlanta Hawks, Luca Doncic takes one step ahead of Trey Young and wins another championship. 32 and 13. Well, Trey, I didn't make the playoffs this year, but I don't, I don't know. There's a lot of circumstances in the basketball, but still, you know, competition. Yes. Greatest offensive rebounder of all time retired. Both their teams looking just about the same. Luca's team is definitely a step ahead of this Mavericks team, though, right now. I can't even lie. That's one hell of a sentence. Team Luca and Team Trey. Ah, yes, the pinnacle. And Trey's team is the 10th seed, and Lucas is the second seed. Ah, yes, yeah, of course. Not everything can be perfect. Oh, yeah. Luca won another MVP. There you go, big fella. Luke Walton, coach of the year. Luca and Trey, both all NBA first team. Here's Trey's numbers because he's definitely good at basketball. But did his team make the playoffs? No, they did not. 38 and 44. And it's almost like their roles are reversed. Luca lost in the first round this year and Trey in the conference finals. I'm going to assume we beat the Mag Magic, but oh my, we're down 2 1. Wow, never mind. Forget assumptions. With Zach Levine, Amani Bates, and Anthony Davis, I'm not even surprised that we're down now. How the hell are you guys the eight seed? But uh, it looks like we, we, we're we good. We won. We're back onto the second round. Brandon Ingram and Bowl Bowl again. So there's a good chance that we lose. And we're down 2 3. And it's 3 3. And we won again. Okay, that's just great. Precious out Chihuahua and Trey Murphy. Oh, yeah, we lost. Matter of fact, and Bam out of bio. Oh, no, we, yeah, we, no, we really lost. We really lost. Precious dropped 34 and 10. Look at his numbers 23 and 12 a game. I would love if Precious just became the best player ever in real life, like how he does in this game. Who's better? Hey, yo, comment section. If you've been around for a minute, who's better? Precious this year or Bo Bo from last year in 2K? I don't know. Maybe I'm having short term memory loss. I don't know. Precious kind of look at him. Finals MVP. Well, the Mavericks actually have more 80 overalls than the Hawks this year, though. But the question is, do they have more alpha dogs that can actually help out the team? Stanley Neal, all star star. That sounds like the most 2K generic name, 2K generated name ever. Hey, this man, Jokic, got three MVPs, though. You count the one from this year, that's four, although it's not in the game. But shoot, you know, oh, God, it's Dior Johnson. Sidney Perry, most improved player. It was the 18th pick. Who are you, Tobias Harris? But Tobias Harris was really the 18th pick. Something's wrong with me. Trey Young, all NBA second team with these numbers. And Luca, all NBA third team with these numbers. But wait, 
I think they both made the play. Yes, sir. The Mavericks, 15 and 32. I told you they had a deep team. They would have been number one in these. The so number four in the West. Let's just see what it, actually I gotta see who's helping out Trey. Porzingis, Senso de Luca. Senso de Luca. Wait, it's Luca. They got another Luca. And you already know Luca's got Jaden Hardy on his team, but uh, oh, I can't look at both sides of the screen at once. But I'm looking at Mavericks and they're down and they just lost. Bob Trey was one hell of a valiant run. No, it wasn't. I'm lying. Donovan Mitchell just ended you guys with Damian Lillard and Victor Wimbanyama. Wow. Go get your ring, Dame. The Hawks, they're about to win. So the Hawks are onto the second round. But oh God, it's Brooklyn again. We already beat these guys one year, but we lost this year because they have the greatest defensive player of all time, Jonathan Isaac. And because they lost to Donovan Mitchell, who was on the Portland Trailblazers, now the Utah Jazz won the championship led by Pascal Siakam and Carl Anthony Towns. As you're watching an uh, NBA Finals duel between Obi Toppin and Pascal Siakam, Ken Birch retired, Trey's a 96, Hell Cam Reddish is an 89, and Luca's a 99, Okongwu is a 90. Like, you know what I mean? We got a lot of well rounded folks around here. I literally had to get rid of my control of the other team for the season just because that's how long the simulation is taking. Like, it, it doesn't even work at this point. Oh, Kyrie is like 45 and is still an MVP. That's fantastic. Dave Yeager is coach of the year. When, where the hell did you come from? Luca, all NBA first team being Luca. Trey, all NBA second team being Trey. He's 31 and so is Luca. They're the same age and a 45 and 37 for, oh, of course the Mavericks have 32 wins. Wait, ain't I just say something about Tobias Harris? They traded for Tobias Harris. Oh, it's not like it resulted in wins anyways. Ayo, Boston, you guys want to move? Uh, yep. Second round against the Knicks. They were just in the finals. I guess that's all you really need to know. And we lost to him. Lost to Jalen Suggs and Obi Toppin and Dennis Smith Jr. back on the Knicks. And DeAndre Aiden. They're actually a pretty good team. Cade Cunningham wins another ring, except he's on the Jazz now. Wait, didn't they just win the ring, except they... What? They completely restructured their entire core, and they still won a championship. Man, Pascal gotta be somewhere crying. Christian James McCollum retired. By the way, if you're wondering why Trey and Luca haven't went to free agency yet, it's because I keep on re-upping their contracts. That The point of the video is that they never get traded, so I kind of want them to stay with the teams that they got. You know what I mean? Porzingis is now old and well, regressing. Cam Reddish is regressing. John Collins and DeAndre Hunter are regressing, and DiVincenzo. So they're all, both their teams are getting old, basically. Team Luca and Team Trey again. Oh, well, Cade finally won an MVP, considering that he's won two championships. And uh, oh, yes, of course, Giannis, DPOI, and Dave Yeager is the coach of the year again. Trey made the All-NBA first team, but Luca made the All-NBA. So they're always just one and two. And the Mavericks are the eight seed. Zion and Ingram just migrated to Memphis. Oh, but I would assume it's not going to go. Yep, Dallas is already out of here. And the Hawks lost in game seven to the Bucks. Lucas shot five for 14. Who cares? Bucks won the championship, though. Uh, Jalen Johnson and Bo Bowl, of course. This man's been on the Bucks for a good minute. Shimize Metu retired. Trey Young and Luca are both regressing, though. That is, uh, yep, okay. The old men are still battling. They got two, two championships for Luca. Three championships combined is what I meant to say. We got two horses in the race, yet we only have three rings. But I, I guess it's not that bad. Could have been zero. That's what it feels like to bandwagon two different teams. Luka Doncic, another most valuable player award. Despite the regression, hell, he's still in 99, actually. Wait, I guess he didn't regress at all. He, he got back up. Oh, my. Mike Brown, coach of the year? Where are all these former coaches coming from? Probably the coaching free agency. But yeah, Trey Young, he was all NBA third team, still in 96 himself. And uh, Hawks are 49 and 33. I'm not going to lie, the simulation is so slow. I'm tired of like taking back control of the team. And they missed the playoffs anyways. Oh, first round against Orlando. We we just blew it through one lead. Okay, great job, most valuable player. And the Jazz with another ring led by Cade Cunningham. Insert the meme when the dude, the old dude is like, that's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT. Isaac Bonga retired. Lucas still old. Trey is Trey. We continue. Jalen Johnson, most valuable player. I've never seen you dominate like this. John has been on like seven different teams. I don't care about no all NBA teams anymore. I'm going to be honest with you. Hey, yo, Luca, Trey, great job. Actually, Trey didn't even make one this year, but uh, did you make the playoffs? Nope. Again, Trey Young's team was the worst team in the league. Chris Stops and Senso De Luca are, well, they weren't very, they weren't contributing much, I guess. He was Trey Young still. He's still been great all these years, but um, I mean, hey, Luca's the second seed. That's something. I mean, hey, 4 1 win in the first round over Chicago. Second round, 4 2 win. And now Milwaukee and Jalen Johnson, the team we lost to last year, and Bull Bull, and Tyrese, and whoever the hell the point guard just was. And we won. Luca trying to get his third championship for ATL. Victor Wenbanyama in the finals with Sekou Dumbaya. One hell of a name duo. And it's currently tied. One, one, wow, we won that second game by two points. And the third game, we win again. 133, 130. Another game by two points. Watch this one's by two points, too. I, I would cry. Okay, it's by 14. Who the hell is Kamari Lands? That man has given buckets to them. Okay, look at Luca didn't have to score the most. It was Kamari Land. They took a game, though. Okay, they took one game and and they took it's game seven. It's game seven. It's time to send cat. Are we about to blow it through one? Is this like karma? Okay, it is game seven. There is 128 left, and this might be a mean case of karma if we don't pull through. Zeke Nanaji is passing the ball to Victor. Victor 
just dribbling the ball to the basket. Victory gets double teamed. Back out to Zeke. Zeke the green. Oh my God. We are about to blow a three one lead. Luca, we need a quick. Is that Josh Green? That was a, that was Trey's former teammate. It's either him or Kevin Knox. They look similar. And Luca pulls back for three. Luca, it is good. Thirty four percent contested. That was the closest you're gonna get to a Luca step back. I mean, we're still in it. Still just a minute left. Seku, we end, we uh, we answer the three and Seku pulls up, moving mid range is off rebound by Taylor Horton Tucker. Where did you come from? Taylor is slow as hell. He moving up that court like a I don't even know. Taylor for three. Come on, Taylor. We oh my god. This look like Luca with the Mavericks in 2020. Seku in the post. Seku makes it all the way to the basket. He okay. He's still posting up. Seku goes through back out to Perkins. Perkins for three. That one is off rebound. Collins. He still have a chance. Luca to the basket. Layup is good. Oh god. I don't think we have much of a chance though. I've seen some crazy stuff on inbounds recently. There could be a steal. Nope. We just there were normal, normal pass and they fouled Jay or Josh Green. Oh, he missed the first free throw. Come on. We still got three timeouts left. You can green that second. We want to hit a three. This is game seven. Come on now. Why are they chanting defense like he wasn't at the free throw line? Hey, Atlanta, if you don't relax, they're still chanting. We're in a timeout. Oh, Kong Wu. He's going to pass it into Collins. Collins over to Taylor down to Luca. What? What? That was the game plan? Oh, we deserve to lose. Josh Green hit both free throws anyways. We about to lose the finals. Hell no. I'm not watching us lose this. Hell no. Yep, we lost. Already had 32. Luca had 19. We lost. One more time. We lost. Blew a 3 1 lead. Ultimate karma after coming back from one for our last championship. Well, is it even karma or just survival of the fittest? Clint Capella retired. Trey is a 93. Luca's a 96. Yo, I knew some was off with this man. This man, Taylor, has a 61 speed with ball. We just slow so. Well, Luca is still the most valuable player. Has Zion never won one in this? I keep seeing him as the all star captain. I don't think he's won an MVP. Michael Meyer, executive of the year. Yo, the Mavericks are never making the playoffs again. They miss it again. I, hell, I didn't even check who they drafted in the draft. Oh, they were actually not even that far out. Just look through the Mavericks whole team. First of all, all these guys they drafted. Sorry, James Boone Knight, not you. All these guys they drafted, high picks are all trash. All they did was draft all bust. The Mavericks front office deserves all the blame for this. They missed the playoffs so many years, yet they couldn't draft one good player to be next to Trey. Okay, cool. We won the first year. Matter of fact, is, is Cam Reddish gone? Oh yeah, he gone, gone. Second round against Cleveland and oh, oh, we okay. We're close to making the finals again. Philadelphia, Trey Jones, Isaac Okoro, and Justin Phillips. I don't even, I, oh, 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 wow. Oh, wow. We lost in game seven by 11 points. Luka had 14 on six for 20 shooting and the Thunder win the championship led by Okan Ozat. DeAndre Hunter retired. John Collins retired. Oh, Luka's actually kind of down terrible right now because they were both still playing. And of course, I'm down terrible because Frank Nilakina retired. Luka's a 94. Trey's a 92. So they're on a sit. I mean, they're, they're still great. Let's just be, they're still great. But after all this, we're probably not going to get a Trey and Luka finals. It's like that. It's like how LeBron and Kobe never play in the finals and people are still pissed about it. Luka does Doncic wins how many MVP? I feel like this is four. No, this is five MVPs over a span of 13 years. That's some Braun type stuff. Benjamin Walker, coach of the year. Lexedge Pokushevsky, all NBA third team. The Hawks were the best team in the Eastern Conference. How about the Mavericks? How about the Ma uh, Of course, of course. The worst team in the league. At least, or no, no, worst team in the West. Tied for it. Oh, Kristaps. Oh, wait, no. He, I was about to say he retired. He's just not good. Hell, Jaden Hardy holding it down 110% from Luka. He averaged the most points on the team. Yeah, Luka's been lucky to have that man. I don't know who the hell Jaden and Hardy is, but I can already tell that he's a real person. Shout out to him because I see him in every single video. In the second round, oh god, they have precious, of course, in the second round and four up. Cleveland again, Darius Garland and Ruben Harris. If we lose to a man named Ruben, I'm ending the video. Okay, I'm not ending the video. That was a lie. Uh, I don't know who said that. 32, 8, and 12 from Luka, and we lose in six games. And the Clippers won. Oh wow, Shea just won a ring for the Clippers. So throughout this whole simulation, the Clippers had not ever won a ring, I don't think. And of course, they end up winning their ring 17 years later, 15 years later later because of Shea, who they traded for Paul George. Kristaps Porzingis retired, and Josiah Jordan James retired, if you know, you know. And Kai Jones retired. If you know, you know, you know, you know. They are old as hell. I have not been announcing the seasons in a good minute, but you know. Actually, I don't think I've announced the seasons once in this whole video, because I don't know. We're going into year number 18, though. Victor. I think when I say Victor like that, I think of old dude from Rocky who killed Creed. Someone gonna be in the comments like, yo, you just spoiled Rocky? Rocky's about 20 years older than me. The Dallas Mavericks, the worst team in the Western Conference again but oh and they have michael porter jr at a 77 overall that's fantastic but atlanta's a third seed and how will they do 4-0 first round and they lost in the second round to boston who they lose to oh Bronny. they lost to Bronny. and mitchell robinson and kevin knox new york faithful bill drew is the finals mvp yeah i have a good feeling that we're about to get the hell up and out of here trey could have retired four years ago and his resume would have still been the same could have pulled the andrew luck trey you're not getting saved by dimitris niniatas even Jaden hardy's old now see so yeah, it's raps amani bates is the mvp brad Brad Stevens is back to coaching. The Hawks
Bucks missed the playoffs, but let's see. Watch. I bet the Mavericks made it. Oh my, they did make it. Demetrius Nidiadis really did save this man. Ayo Trey, I'm not Ayo. You got to make the finals for me to regain your control of your team. Nope. He lost in the first round. Up 28 a game. And his contract thought says age has finally caught up with me and this is the right time to pursue some new challenges. I apologize. It's 428 AM. Grammar is not my strongest suit at this time in the day for enunciating words. And well, Luca, he, he seems to think differently. But also, they tend to lie a lot on those things. So, um, Dior Johnson, the finals MVP. But yeah, Trey Young was not lying. That is officially going to do it. Trey Young has retired after 19 years pro. He averaged 28 points, 10 assists, 51 from the field, 45 from three, 92 from the line. He had a career high of 67 points, 15 threes made. Matter of fact, let me save those because 15 threes might be like the most ever or some. So let me read off everything else first. But also, Luka Doncic, 19 years himself, 27 points, 6 rebounds, 11 assists, 51, 43, and 77 from the line. And now let's read off these NBA records. Trey Young and Luka Doncic are number 1 and 2 in all-time total points. All right, now look, that's legendary. That's legendary. I don't care what the circumstances are. I don't care how much they want. Number 1 and 2. As a matter of fact, Trey had more points, but then again, he had way less help. So yeah. And they're number 1 and 2 on 3s made. Trey is ahead by about 300 on this list. Luka's number 1 in assists with 16,543. He beat John Stockton, but Trey did not. He had 15,000, but and he was number 3. Trey Young had the most 40-point games in NBA history, and he beat Michael Jordan by one game. Luka had 127. Trey had 26 50-point games, which is 6, and Luka had 13, so he had half as many as Trey did. But Luka is 6 on the triple-doubles list, and I think I saw that Trey had like 8, because he's not really like, you know, he averages like 2 rebounds. Trey Young in 2023 had the third most points in a single season. Luka is nowhere on that top 10, so we could already see who's the more dominant scorer. Trey had the second most threes made in the season, and Lamelo broke it the next year. Trey's 15 three-pointers of the game was tied for the most ever. And Trey had 61 points in a playoff game, which was also the, well, no, the second most ever. Nobody to this day has beat Michael Jordan's record. Usually you see these records get flooded out, but it's Trey, Michael, and Elgin still top three. Luka had all top five in the team's total points records, and Trey did the exact same. Honestly, I'm gonna skim through the rest of these. It looks like he has a million of these records, like the assist even. He's up there a bunch of times, and then same with the playoffs. He has the most points ever. Obviously, we just saw he was number two. And then for Luka, um, yep, you see again, he's on a bunch of these. And then uh, for the playoffs, he's also on a bunch of these. Did he have all top five for the playoffs too? Yeah, they flooded out all the Atlanta and Dallas records. Sorry, Dirk. Sorry, Dominique Wilkins. And last but not least, for Trey Young's award history, he had one MVP and one championship in the same year of 2023. 17 All-Star appearances, four first-team All-NBA, three second-team All-NBA, and three third-team All-NBA. We already know he ain't make no defensive teams, but that's cool. And Luka Doncic, five MVPs, two championships, 17 All-Star appearances, 12 first-team All-NBA, four second team and two, two third teams. It's obviously without a doubt that he had the better career, but then again, I mean, if we're talking about just making it to the promised land, um, you know, Trey only had, he was one for one in the finals, but Luka was two for three. There was only a one championship difference between the two of them, but Luka had five MVPs to Trey's one, so we know the answer. And Trey Young makes the Hall of Fame alongside Shea, Precious, Devin Booker, and Lonzo. Obviously, Luka would make it if we go for another 10 seconds. Number six is retired by the Dallas Mavericks. I don't even know how the hell he ended up taking Kristaps' number, but um, hey, it works. Man, Kristaps gotta be sick. Actually, his number might have got retired too. Yup, number 51. I, I can promise you, Kristaps, nobody was gonna wear that number anyway. Same goes for 77, to be fair. Hey, yo, that is officially gonna do it. This is, according to 2K, what would happen if Trey Young and Luka Doncic just reverse roles right now, said, yo, reset this. They're both stars. Let's see what happened if they were still stars and on the other team. And then being number one and two is probably the most legendary part of it all. So I'm gonna end off on this screen. That is officially gonna do it. Thank you for watching. You can like, subscribe to the channel if you came on my channel at all. Let me know what the hell you want to see next. Shout out to Josh Green. Shout out to whoever that was existing right now watching this video. And uh, I'm gonna get the hell up and out of here. But...